Namaskar. Welcome back to your channel Simplify Your Space. In today's video, we are going to see the makeover and organization of small and unfurnished utility area of a rented apartment. This is a part of a rented home organization series. Many of you are still commenting and asking me why I've shifted to this house. Reason is repair and renovation work at my home and hopefully we should go back there by the end of this month. So this turned out to be blessing in disguise to complete the renter friendly organization series. Today's video is made in collaboration with Urban Company. Now let's start the video. This is the utility area of my rented house. It is small and unfurnished. So I thought why not make it a little more functional and beautiful. Bit of decoration and organization is not harmful at all. So to do the makeover of this utility area, the first thing I thought was that I should paint one of its wall in a different color so that it can highlight well. Sometimes small changes create a bigger impact. But the problem is that getting a single wall painted is a difficult task as usually no one comes for such small work. And I think many of us face this challenge of getting a single wall painted, especially at the time of festival season when we expect guests and relatives home. But Urban Company has solved this problem of mine. Sitting at home with Urban Company, I booked an appointment to paint just a small wall and they provided me a painter within 24 hours with all the materials and stuff and made this task so easy. The painter came on the very next day itself and applied the color of my wish. He was very professional. He covered the area well first and then painted. Many times it happens that any wall of your house gets damaged due to dampness or children paint it with color and spoil it and you want to get it repaired and painted immediately. So I feel paint service of Urban Company can be very useful for all of us. I am totally impressed. After finishing the paint, he cleaned the entire area well so that there are no stains left anywhere. If you also want to paint a specific wall of your house, then book from Urban Company today. I've given the details in the description box. You can get 10% off using my code ASHU10. Utility area is looking so beautiful after getting the wall painted. So let's get it organized now. Let's start with sink area. On this corner, I will put this corner shelf which comes with self-adhesive strip. This shelf has vents so that water does not accumulate and drains off easily. To organize the garbage bags, I have found this very cute little organizer which you can fix on the wall with the help of self-adhesive strips. This corner shelf will be utilized to keep our dishwashing sponge, steel scrub and counter cleaning squeegee to put away and dry after use. And in this holder, we need to put a roll of a garbage bag. And when needed, we can just pull out a garbage bag outwards and remove. Underneath here in this corner, I will put this toothbrush holder to hold the bottle brush, straw cleaning brushes and old toothbrushes for sink cleaning. This holder has a drip tray at the bottom to drain out the accumulated water, which I found to be a smart idea. Along with this, I have kept a bottle of dish liquid. Now coming to this side, here I have placed this poly bag organizer first. I organize small bags of daily vegetables and groceries inside it here. Next to this, I have installed this towel holder which has 4 rods. In this, you can put 3 to 4 kitchen towels at a time. Very useful for kitchens where you need multiple towels. Now here on the countertop, I have placed this dish drying mat. And on top of this, I have kept this steel dish drying rack. By placing the mat, the water of the utensils will not fall on the countertop and the area will remain clean. With this, the organization of countertop is done. There is also space under the utility sink where we keep daily needed things. First of all, this extra cylinder stays here, so I am moving it in this corner. To organize my daily cleaning and laundry supplies, I will be using this sleek trolley which has three shelves and also has wheels at the bottom to pull the trolley. In this, I have stored all the cleaning and laundry supplies. Laundry bag and extra garbage rolls have been kept on the top shelf. 
and now I have placed it here in this corner. Being sleek, it takes up very little space. Next to this is a small tub and bucket which are used to carry the wash clothes. Next to this there is a mop bucket. This is another foldable tub which is very handy for small daily tasks. It takes up very little space when folded. And here at this corner I have placed one bag in which the paper bags are kept. Although this area is organized now but if we leave it open like this it won't look good. So I will close this place with the help of curtains. First I installed these self adhesive curtain rod holders and now I have hung these curtains here. These were regular window curtains that I shortened from bottom. And now this area is hidden with curtains and looks neat. Now let's go to the other side. The washing machine is kept here. I will place this metal rack on its side which has a magnetic strip on the back side. I have used this to hold laundry detergent and softener for easy access. Here above I have used this remaining piece of the curtain as a washing machine cover which looks very cute too. On top of this I have placed this dish drying mat which will be used to keep extra utensils while washing dishes. Here on this wall I am going to place this broom holder to organize the cleaning tools. I have placed three broom holders and they will now be used to hold broom, mop stick, dust pan and cleaning dusters. This is a great way of utilizing the wall space and these cleaning tools will now be very easy to access. In this corner I have placed this big laundry basket which also has a lid. This basket is used to store the clothes to be ironed. This basket looks very cute here and makes the place beautiful. I have also installed self adhesive hooks on the back of the door which are used to organize my apron and cloth grocery bags. Here our organization ends. Now I will decorate this place a bit. There is a large open window in the utility area which is kept closed with the help of a mesh. There is a lot of sunlight here so I have put some planters here to add greenery and beauty. I have also hung a planter here above. I have hung this beautiful laundry sign behind the washing machine that I have had for many years. And to make this wall which we have freshly painted a bit more beautiful, I will put two frames here. I have printed the laundry room and washing signs at home itself and placed them in the frames and they are looking very nice. And with this the makeover of the utility area of this rented house ends. Hope you enjoyed this makeover, do comment and let me know. Thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends. Do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all the latest updates and video notifications. We'll see you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.